Your one, two, and three safeties are, uh, are, are on that list. So right now, as of now, uh, when we sit here on Friday, they can't go. Ronnie Harrison, Grant Delpit, John Johnson. What do you do if you don't have those three guys in the back half of that defense? Yeah, I, there's just not a lot of options. Um, you know, you talk about, well, maybe you put a linebacker there. You can play JOK at safety. Maybe you can do that given that Anthony Walker's back. So you have Walker and Malcolm Smith and Sione Takitaki and Elijah Lee. So you have a little bit of depth at linebacker. Maybe you can play JOK as an in-the-box safety. Um, besides that, you know, MJ Stewart would be next up, but he's also probably your number one nickelback right now with Troy Hill on the list and Greg Newsom in concussion protocol still. Um, you know, I don't know, it's a couple more days. Maybe the Browns can get lucky and Newsom can clear protocol. That'd be great for them. If not, then you got to decide do you play MJ Stewart at nickel? Do you play him at safety? Then you got Richard LeCount, the third, Javante Moffitt, right? And they signed Tedrick Thompson to the practice squad yesterday. In fact, he ran on the field with no name on his back as we were leaving practice yesterday. That just shows you kind of the fluidity of the situation. So they had a bunch of decisions to make. You know, and, and Nickel, I mean, Nickel's a huge deal. Do you try to play Denzel Ward inside, which he doesn't do um, to cover Hunter Renfro? But then who do you play outside because um, A.J. Green tested positive? So it, it's really a mess, and I'm sure the coaches are thinking about it 24-7. 